good. It's the end of a broke era for me. It's the end of my fat era, the end of my bad skin era, the end of me not taking care of my skin twice a day era, the end of me not washing my hair until like two weeks era. Like we are ending hella eras today. All this being poor and not being able to eat McDonald's whenever I want has definitely been paying off. This is all me. This is all me, bro. Anyway, so it's the end of a dark era. So we're gonna try to do Uber Eats for a day. I have no expectations at all. Like I'm saying at all, like I have no expectations. I feel like money is gonna come regardless. I feel like everybody's hungry. It's lunchtime. My roommate's gone. I have nothing to do. Nobody to really talk to. So he's the best. Anyway, so me and my roommate were kind of just like kiki king about how fucking astronomically damn bad that we are with money. And we were like, you know, we we are we make it happen. You know what I mean? Like we still make shit happen. And so we this hair stuff smells so good. For me, I'm going to a concert with I'm gonna go see Five Soft. 14 year old me is screaming in her panties right now. Trying to like come up with that solutions. So I signed up for uber eats yesterday like to be a delivery driver for once not to be a fat ass and order food like i usually would and i was like mm, they're not gonna take they're gonna take a little while a little while it's gonna be fine i'm just gonna look for like other like jobs in the meantime blah 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 but then uber was like congratulations like you're an uber driver and i'm like okay i've been like i want to be an adult and own up to okay okay that's a cute little bun, okay. Anyway, but it's not gonna stay that way. Well, it might, but. Cause it's like lunchtime, so I'm thinking maybe there'll be some type of income. Bitch, I'll be happy if I even get like $5. Like, I don't even fucking have $5, so yeah. I feel like everyone kind of has their down bad era, but like I've had a lot of down bad eras for just like, you know, having two jobs and like having to work one more than the other and all that stuff and like bills and i'm just trying to like make ends meet right now because i'm just blessed for the thing if i have to take a picture i'm just gonna take a picture like this and if those racist ass hoes don't want me to deliver their food well I guess you're gonna fucking see me today bitch so yeah i'll let y'all know how it goes i'm like kind of scared so this is the uber jobber sleigh I made $7. Ew, this is a really weird. Bitch, I made seven motherfucking dollars, bitch. And honestly, humble beginnings, yes. Grateful though, yeah. Like, I feel like I just fucking won the lottery because, ew, not this antiseptic white giving me fucking bumps in my hands. The thing that really confuses me is that, ew is that they were like like when i was sitting in the parking lot at the target in town i was like fuck i was like oh my god da, da, da. i didn't think i was gonna get any but i got one and it said that it was 15 dollars. so i was like fuck yeah give me that fucking five guys so i went to five guys and i delivered the order i'm trying to figure out how i can like okay so i went to five guys i picked up the order and then i dropped it off and then i made seven dollars like pocketed money so now i'm trying to see like all the places that i could go like um to just i'm probably gonna just like hang around until i like get an order i have to use the restroom anyway so i'm trying to figure out how to like put all my stuff on there so i can like so i can go to my like account so yeah not bad it was kind of weird i kind of wish that they had more tutorial videos on like how to deliver it like what to put blah 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 but yeah point is bitch i'm making money okay five o'clock dinner runs around and all these rich ass hoes are trying to get their little oysters or whatever the fuck they be eating quail whatever it's going so there wasn't really much activity
yummy. There wasn't really much activity going on. So, I got Starbucks. I got a feast. But, I made like $30 almost today. And I got a $9 tip. That's better. I feel really drained. And I feel like part of it is because... The sun, I had like four orders and what made a total of $31. And I'm back home now, so I'm thinking maybe if I leave it on and by the time it comes on, like like by the time I get a new order, I could just like go. But I'm kind of scared because I don't want to like overuse my car because with my Uber driver experience, Zay Wayne. And I don't know if there's going to be a day two or not because I want to just let my girl, like, let my car rest. Yeah. Point is, it's been a pretty good experience. Like, it's something to definitely look forward to. I'm glad that I spent today, like, going out and, like, getting money and, like, getting it right away. Like, but, um, because now I have money for when I go to the concert and it's just, like, like, um like a sense of security because I started with no money and now I have some. See, um, the tips are good depending on who you deliver to. I got a $10 tip today, so that was like the highlight of my day. I feel like Uber drivers, <laughs> Uber Eats and like, um, what was the other one? DoorDash and stuff. I feel like a lot of restaurants just automatically get really fucking annoyed with people like that because like, today i went to mcdonald's and this girl that had ordered got like a sprite with her meal but like obviously they package it different because um so then i'm like oh like she also got a sprite too i'm like i don't fucking know how to like tell them like oh this is the order because i don't know i don't know if they know. showed the guy the little thing like oh she got a sprite and he was like it's in there and i was like I didn't hear what he was saying or like I don't know if we just like didn't hear each other talk but I was like I repeated myself and then he was like no it's in there and I'm like okay bitch like sorry I might like get myself a little treat but like I'm kind of liking that I didn't um that I didn't even have money to like eat out because I definitely have lost weight and I definitely want to keep that up but i'm really also tired so like i'll see but i have my uber no okay so update it's not all glitz and glamour okay <laughs> it's really not let me fucking tell you i have been doing my research on this and i'm here to say and i'm here to share what i have learned if it's like first of all you need to pay attention like i know that it's like such an adrenaline rush when you get like a order request but you need to look at where it's gonna go because yesterday I got like a bunch of offers and like I feel like the getting is good like dinner time type shit and I also find it better if I just like camp out at home instead in my general area during dinner time because that's when it really goes off so um sorry i'm getting like notifications anyway point is i have been making pretty good money <laughs> but here's the silly part is that my phone bill was due today and i wasn't able to get like help with it which is okay because i'm an adult i'm gonna own it i tried to do as what i could do with in my current situation before my next paycheck at my job job off campus so I did what I could do, and now all the money that I made is gone because I paid the phone bill, so. Um, but don't let these influencers sit here and tell you, like, oh, you need to, like, blah, 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 you need to camp out. Like, first of all, and that's another thing, is camping out is really not the best because, like, for one, Uber already being unpredictable is, like, yeah, that's, like, a given, but you also don't want to be, like, starting your car stopping your car like stopping in random areas and just like i don't like the like if i'm not getting orders like i don't like sitting in my car like a dumbass like waiting for it and like the safeway parking lot like it's just not a safe position for me especially as a woman to be in so definitely like if you can 
if you know that like your general residential area has like pretty good traffic or like pretty good like um food places nearby just stay home when you can like try definitely like lunchtime type shit to like drive around to like the busier areas but like also I'm telling you like you need to know where you're gonna actually take the order because I've taken orders in one city and then had to drop it off like 30 minutes out and I would get good tips but you know I would just be kind of like I don't know this area like it was just kind of sketch but would I do it again yeah I'm gonna probably do it today I need to fill up my tank though I should have done that shit yesterday but it was dark and one thing I'm not gonna do as a woman and a black woman is stop at a fucking gas station by myself you have me absolutely stupendously messed up if you think I'm gonna do that but right now I'm applying for jobs. I have another job in the works. But in the meantime, I want to see who will be hiring, all that stuff, and just see what I can do. But I also have, like, set hours on my other job. But, like, a little extra income don't hurt. Also, excuse my hair. I don't even know what to say, y'all. It's been very rough. Can you tell? Thank you for staying tuned um, and watching my Uber Java experience, okay? Okay, everyone, have a great day.